Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Take a look inside Highmark Stadium. NFL Super Wild Card Monday. Bills put aside frigid weather. We've had plenty of excitement so far through five games. Super Wild Card Weekend. And we still have one more to go as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers host the Philadelphia Eagles for Monday night. Earlier Monday, the Buffalo Bills bested the Pittsburgh Steelers, a game that was delayed a day after wild winter storm conditions in Buffalo. The two teams faced off in frigid conditions, with temperatures of 17 degrees in Buffalo at kickoff time, according to the National Weather Service. The Bills took a big early lead, each touchdown saluted by snow-tossing fans, and cruised to a 31-17 win. The Bills worked overtime to get the snow filled stadium prepared for the game, even sending out a request on their website and social media for additional snow shovelers to assist the team with removing snow from Highmark Stadium overnight. Volunteers were paid $20 an hour for helping overnight and into Monday morning, while also being provided breakfast and drinks. Despite the work, Seats blanketed with thick snow still greeted many fans Monday. Videos posted on social media show fans in the stadium digging through the icy nest to reach Blue Stadium seats and one Steelers fan using his body to plow through the snow-filled seat rows. Still, aerial shots of the stadium show it was packed. Bill's quarterback Josh Allen had four touchdowns including a leaving 52-yard touchdown run that blew the score to 20-0. He threw for three touchdowns and completed 21 of 30 passes for 203 yards. Despite the cold, the 72,000-seat Highmark Stadium appeared to be packed, even with seats covered by icy snow. The game was fairly equally statistically but the Steelers suffered two big turnovers, including a Mason Rudolph pass that was intercepted in the Bills' end zone early in the second quarter. <laughs> Buffalo had turned hard when it turned cold, ending the regular season on a five-game winning run, after a rocky start to the campaign, including a final week victory over the Dolphins to steal the AFC <laughs> the AFC's number two vote the